Hello there! In this video I'm going to run through Trello and show how it's used by Edinburgh Student Housing Cooperative which is a student-run affordable housing provider so it has about 106 members and it's entirely self-managed by those members so and they organize themselves through working groups and a number of those working groups use Trello so we're going to click on the maintenance working group which will take us through to their board so Trello is based on a system used in lots of businesses and organisations where they have a big wall and they put up different post-it notes and documents under lists, move things around and all that sort of thing. So it's a digital version of that. Um, so there's lots of information here. So initially it can be a bit overwhelming, but you will quickly get the hang of it. So what we have are lists. You can make your own lists, give them whatever name you want, and reorder them. Um, so we can go over here and add a list. And then under each list are these, which are called tasks. So each task is, uh, sorry, these are called cards. Each card is basically a task. So if you click on it, then there's all sorts of things you can do. So we're going to make a card and we're going to this card is going to be make a, make a Trello Trello training video. There we go. So it's a little bit plain at the moment, so let's click on it and learn about some of the features of Trello. So I can add a wee description. So need to make a video to help members learn about Trello and use it more effectively. Lovely. Then I can go to members, which is basically a way to tag people. So I can tag myself. And what that means is that whenever no, everything, whenever anything is done to this card, I will get a notification. and depending on your email settings you can also get emails so that's me tagged then I can add a label and you'll see later why it's useful to label everything so you can make your own labels so then you can do a checklist so uh, things that need doing and then add this is really cool so each item in the checklist so for example uh, get and here's another cool thing so I need to get Ewan's so then I can tag Ewan get Ewan Kidston's microphone add and record video and upload and share lovely so I've already got Ewan's microphone so I can tick that off and you can see, oh, I've done a third of it. Then I can add a due date. So let's say this is due for tomorrow's meeting, 7.30. And then here's a cool thing. You can attach documents and files. So for example, if I click on computer, go to desktop, I can attach a picture. Not particularly useful for this card, but there's sometimes things where you want to attach a picture. So there's the pretty picture. And then you can basically attach any, well, you can attach any file or document. But you can also attach, basically, link through to Google Drive and Dropbox documents. So up pops a thing to your Google Drive, and you can browse through, once it's loaded, browse through and select documents. So it's very useful if you're doing um, collaborative work. You can oh, keep it all in one place. Ah, I clicked on the picture. Right, so if we scroll down, then we can see it. So got lots of information so you can see I've done one third of the task and see when it's due it's got something attached in this case the picture and I'm 
tagged. Now it's no longer to do, I'm doing it right now, so I can drag it over, you can drag the card over into doing. There we go. And you can also reorder things so the most important tasks are up at the top. So over on the right hand side here, we've got actually, first of all, this little bell here shows you notifications which basically lists every time anyone's done it, anything to any card that you're tagged in. So you can see that's mostly comments that people have made. Oh, I forgot to show you that. You can, um, at the bottom of the card, so let's go back to the Trello training video card. I can scroll down and I can add a comment so you can see everything that's already happened to this card. And I can add a comment. I'm doing this right now. And similarly, you can attach documents, Google Drive things, you can mention people, add images, that sort of thing. So that's that. So going back to the sidebar, down here you can see everything that's happened on the board. So at the moment it's all stuff I've been doing, but it's a good way, because you, if you're not tagged in something, but you can just keep track of everything else that's going on, just quickly skim through. You can, whoops, you can add members here, add people's email addresses so they can join your board. And this here, filter cards, is one of the most useful things. So you'll remember that I tagged the card with logistical. So if I click logistical, then I can see everything that comes under logistical. So things like sending emails, that sort of thing or I can see everything to do with cleaning. There we go. And here's a very, another very useful thing. I can click on, I can filter it so that only the cards that I'm tagged in turn up. So you can see all the jobs that just you need to do. Or you can see what other people need to do or have done. And then down here, you remember that I tagged this for tomorrow so I can filter for everything okay not doesn't count it in the next day because it's over 24 hours away but during the next week one thing comes up so nothing else at the moment is tagged with um, a deadline but very useful if you've got lots of things that are due on very specific dates and that's just about everything so it's really worth playing about with um, and it's pretty flexible um, but you can also as well as doing it through your standard internet browser you can get apps for your telephone and all that sort of thing um, yes yeah, so it's really worth playing with and there's loads of extra functions that I've not run through but those are all the basic ones and one of the best things I love about Trello can't remember if I've already mentioned this but you can scroll through and you can see everything you've done or everything everyone else has done that you didn't help with, um, which can be quite nice. So yeah, thanks for watching.